Hello everyone. Today we will learn about the helical antenna design using 4NEC2 simulator. To start with, you need to load the NEC simulator option and then once the main window is loaded, you can press Ctrl F4. In that, you can go to new and save as that file as the name which you want the antenna to be. So say I'm designing a helical antenna, so I'll name it as some H2. Save that file. Now before proceeding for any kind of design pattern, we need to know the variable which is deciding the geometry of the antenna. So obviously in antenna case, our frequency and wavelength decides the variable. Based on the frequency and wavelength, we design the antenna. So first step is to decide the frequency. So for the simplicity, I am choosing the frequency to be 300 megahertz. For that, corresponding lambda value or wavelength value would be 1. So as soon as you have defined the frequency option, you have to go to symbols and define the wavelength as lambda equal to 1. Now go to geometry option. You will see this type option here which you have to choose as helix as we are designing the helical antenna. Now give the tag name say 1 and you can represent these segments. Then how much you want the spacing between the two arcs of the helix you can define. So say as our variable is lambda so I will be keeping the spacing with respect to the so I'm just keeping as lambda by 4 this spacing can be checked by varying the numbers here then total length of the helix can be defined as the geometry is accepting the options in meters so we can define some numbers with respect to meter configuration so say I'm just giving the length as 3 meters then the uniformity of the helical structure can be decided by these coordinates which you can give same value in all the coordinates. Then the viral radius can be defined. So I am trying to keep it more thinner. So I am taking it as 0 0.001. Now once you have defined the geometry, you can define now the voltage source by going under this tab source and load. Ch click on the type option, select voltage source, tag, give the tag number. Then segment will be 1. Magnitude can be defined. Once all these settings are done, you can go to grounding option too. If you wish to keep the uh, ground option, you can keep it or you can keep it at the free space condition. Now, you have, what you have to do, you have to save this option and run this. Once you run this, you can find this green uh, button over on the main window. You can click on that. Use the selected option. Like if you want to see the far field pattern or frequency, you can choose any one of them. So I'm trying to represent the far field pattern. So I'll be choosing far field here. I will say generate. And then you'll be able to see one pattern, rate 2D pattern generated here and the geometry on this. Scale. As uh, nothing is visible as of now, what you can do, you can click page up or down option to zoom in or zoom out. As you can see, I have done that and, and now you can see the structure which I have planned to decide. So once this is done, you can go to this 2D radiation pattern understanding or if you wish to see the same pattern in 3D, you can choose 3D viewer option and then choose the pattern in which way you want it. So I am choosing multicolor option. So it will show you the 
radiation pattern the darker side uh, shows uh, the you can say the pink side shows that the radiation because the maximum radiation is in the front direction towards the helical structure then if you want to ground the geometry provide certain grounding option then go to again the geometry edit section that is control f4 and press any of the ground pattern you want save that file and generate the file again that time you will find the lower lobes the back lobes have gone and complete radiation pattern is in the front direction which is required for our application too so this is how we have learned to design helical antenna using four NECT simulator. Thank you.